This is a walkthrough of Nakayubi's escape game castle. So we start off in the courtyard and we'll do some exploring. We see a barrel with the puzzle on it and a second barrel beside it. Two knobs in three different colors. Two birds, some handles in the ground, and a fountain that isn't working. There's a mouse door and a plate. And some bells, a big one and a small bell. On the bench, we have one bird, a lockbox, tree, we have something, and some caterpillars. We'll note the pattern of the caterpillars. We have two more barrels, changes color to blue or white, and four arrows. Front of the castle, the monkey that's looking for a bow and arrow. Three more birds and six plants. On the pillar, there's the four-digit combination. And on the other side, there's a tied-up horse. And on the other pillar, the four-button combination. On the front of the castle, beside the doors, there looks like two holes that could fit two things and flags. I'm gonna note the color of the flags purple, yellow, green, blue. So now we're done exploring the courtyard, we're gonna go look inside the castle. There's a box with six buttons. On top of the fireplace, there's a five-digit combination, and on the other side of the fireplace, there's a mouse door. A music box seems to be missing something. Another box with four buttons. Monkey on the couch, looking for a bell, and find a quill. Let's see it. Deer head with part of a key, bookshelf, books are five different colors, we see a pig that's looking for the quill, and we get a four digit combination on the parchment, so 2864, we'll continue exploring the room. Six buttons that resembles the six birds that we saw in the courtyard. So we'll use the direction each bird is facing to open up the box. So inside the box, find a box of matches. Just continue exploring the room. We see a locked box. We see the top drawer. It's a four letter word, and on the bottom drawer, there's the knobs. So we're gonna light up the fire and see what happens. So the fire is letting out smoke, and the smoke is different sizes. So the combination is big, small, small, big, small, big, big, small. So we'll remember that combination. Exploring the rest of the room, we see pillars. 
four different colors that are the same colors as the ones on the flag. So that opens up the pillar and we have the second half of the key. We also see four soldiers, each holding one or two swords. And on the other pillar, we have green lines that looks like the pattern of the caterpillars. Using that pattern, we can open up the pillar, and inside we have a bell. On top here, we have a spider that's just bobbing up and down. So we'll give the bell to the monkey on the couch and see what happens. So we got some cakes delivered. And when we look at the cakes, we see they're three different colors and three different sizes of tears. So we're going to head back outside and using the cakes, we now have the combination for this puzzle. Using the colors of the tears, we're going to open up the barrel. Inside the barrel, we find a watering can. So since we don't have any water yet, we can't use it. We can open up this pillar using the swords that the soldiers were holding inside the castle. So inside, we find the last handle of those handles in the ground. On this side, we could use the combination from the parchment that was inside the castle that he gave us after we handed him the quill. So opening up this pillar, we find a piece of cheese. So we could put the piece of cheese on the plate and draw out the mouse. we open up the door, the mouse will head to the other side. So it looks like the mouse will be transferring items back and forth between the two sides. So we'll attach the last handle in the ground, but we don't have the combination yet. We can open up this barrel using the bookcase and the five different colored books. If you follow the color of the books, you could see they form different letters. So the word that we found is shuck. So in the barrel we find a hammer. So using the hammer, we could strike the bells using the combination from the fireplace. Opening up the box, let's find a sword. So we could use the sword to cut the rope that's tying up the horse. And we'll see what happens. So that frees up the horse and reunites the lovebirds. And we have five hearts. Behind the horse, there was a five number piece of paper. We'll note the numbers on. So going back into the castle. We have five hearts, five different positions, and we'll use that on this drawer. Inside the drawer we have the wire cutters. So we'll use the wire cutters to get the second part of the key. 
We'll combine the two parts of the key. We'll open up some boxes. So in the first box, what do we find? Find three rings, three different positions. So to get the key to the courtyard, we're going to need the mouse to bring it over. So we'll hand the mouse to so we'll hand the key to the mouse, and we'll send the mouse to the other side. We're going to head back to the other side, get the key, and open up the box on the side. So in this box there's three rings in different positions. So if we combine the positions of both boxes, we could enter that into this puzzle and that opens up the barrel and we find the bow and arrow that the monkey is looking for. So we're going to hand the bow and arrow to the monkey. The monkey shoots down something from the tree and we'll go check it out. So there was a teddy bear in the tree with the word king on it. So there was a drawer in the castle that needed a four letter word. Use that here. And we find a little figurine. So we'll put that on the music box. So the music box corresponds with the five digits we found outside. And if we follow the order that the dancers are dancing in, starting from five, we have a combination of five, three, nine, two, six. About the fireplace, it was a puzzle that needed a five digit number. So we'll use five, three, nine, two, six. So that gets us the positions of the handles for those three handles that were in the ground. So going outside, we'll try that here. And that turns on the water fountain. So we can fill up the watering can. Also going to note the order that these guys are putting the water in. So now that we have water, we could water the flowers here. different sizes. So going back inside, we can open up this box with the positions or the order that these guys were playing in. And inside we find a button. What does a button do? 
button opens up the curtains and we see some pictures. Taking a look at the pictures, we see the pig's eyes are facing different directions. We'll take note of that and use it on a puzzle outside. Box beside the fireplace, we could use the size of the flowers to open it up. We find some spider web spray. So there's a spider bouncing in the corner here. So that frees up the spider to scare the soldiers away. And that gives us access to the ruby that was sitting behind them. So we're going to need the mouse to transport the ruby from inside the castle to outside the castle. So we're going to send the mouse back in. And before we head back in, we're going to open up this last barrel with the pictures we saw inside the castle. So if we follow the arrows, or note the positions of the arrows, we know the pattern for this puzzle. So that opens up the barrel and we have another ruby. So we need to get the first ruby from the inside to the outside. So I'll hand ruby to the mouse to bring it over. Now that we have two rubies on the in the courtyard, we could put them in the holes beside the door to open it up. And we've solved the castle. Congratulations. Now we'll walk through the mini game. We're going to start by exploring first the barrel there. Everything else looks the same. Still have the mouse and the cheese. Nothing in the box. Lovebirds are still there. Everything else looks the same. We have a patch on the wall. Cat pillars have changed position, so we'll note the position. These barrels look empty. So in front of the castle, flowers look the same. Looking isn't responding. And on the pillar we have what looks like corresponds to the caterpillar position. So opening up the pillar we get a pail. Piece paste where looks the same. We're gonna get some water. <laughs> Gonna 
scratch off the wall and see what's behind the dirt here. Did we get the word castle? We'll head inside to explore. Inside we have a box with six letters. Everything else looks the same. Music box. Box is empty. Monkey is asking for a trumpet. On the parchment, the numbers have changed, and there's four numbers that correspond with the word castle. So now we know the order of the letters to enter into the box beside the fireplace. So we follow the order. Get A T C L E S. That opens up the box, and we have the trumpet. So, that summons four soldiers with four flags. So look at the pattern of the flags. We can open up the barrel off to the side here. Inside we have a key, so we'll need that key inside the castle, so we'll send the mouse over to the other side with the key. So going back inside, we'll get the key from the mouse and open up the box. That's in front of the doors. Inside, we find a crown. We've done the minigame. Congratulations. <laughs>